What's up, guys? Welcome back to the That's So Dev podcast. My name is Dev. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Now, you know we got some tea to get into. But before we get into the tea, make sure you go ahead and follow me at That's So Dev on Twitter, Instagram, and literally everywhere else, especially YouTube, because we kind of popping over there. Now, if you're streaming on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. I love that for you. Okay. So, hi, guys. Welcome back. We are here to discuss Katrina. Now, look, the last thing that I reacted to was saving all my love. Okay? Now, (laughs) that was like a massive request from you guys. I mean a massive request. What I constantly want to see is I want to see everybody telling me their favorite performance or a different performance than what they've commented before because for me we have a very 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 long road with Katrina reactions there are so many and I'm going to do them all period so when I ask you guys for your favorite performances and then a different one and then a different one, I genuinely want to know because I am going to get to those in the order that they are commented and that they're put it, that they're put on the Google Doc. I see everything that is in order. I see the timestamp. I see everything. So with that being said, It's going to create a journey for me and you guys. And I feel like this journey is going to be so emotional and fulfilling and quality. You know, my channel is currently going through some changes and it has been for over the last maybe eight months. We've been planning something that is essentially going to go into effect this year. There are a lot of changes for us podcast hosts and YouTube channels. There are going to be a lot of changes for us behind the scenes that you guys won't know about. But ultimately, that has kind of pushed my channel in a direction that has made it become more serious. Because originally, um, obviously, this channel wasn't meant to be super, super serious. But I think that as the support came along and as people started liking the videos more and more, it became obvious that, okay, what once was something that was just, you know, fun, lollygagging, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Whenever I want to, all of that good shit. You know what I mean? Like, what was once that is now something that has to be a business. And, um... You know, it is what it is. I mean, essentially having a YouTube channel is a business. But I think that, you know, once you get a certain degree of support and you garden a certain level of community, it almost forces your hand. Right. So now it's like, okay, here's where all the steps of enhancing a YouTube channel must come in because If I am going to be stepping into this business aspect, I want the quality of my work to be better and constantly get better. Like, I don't think that my content where it is right now, it's not satisfying to me, right? I do think that it's quality based on the circumstances that surround my recording, my editing, everything there are a lot of things that people don't take into play like how is this person recording does this person have the proper equipment is this person recording on their phone does this person have enough space does this person have to shift like you know there are just many different things that go behind creating a reaction even if it seems like the most simplest thing to people it's not (laughs) <laughs> now, you're not doing YouTube videos. It's not just getting behind the camera and all of that and recording. It, it's so much more than that. But, you know, I think, again, like what really makes it fulfilling is the community because the community is so grateful. You see the joy that those reactions bring these people. 
And the joy that these reactions bring you guys, you guys genuinely get excited and that makes me excited. And also at the same time, because both of these things exist at the same time, right? It's a thing of, okay, they're excited. This is bringing them joy. They love these reactions. Now they deserve the best they deserve what I feel is the best because I don't feel what you guys are getting. I don't think that's the best. And that's okay. That's not something where I'm dragging myself per se. That is me knowing that I can be better in my reactions, which is why I appreciate constructive criticism under my reactions all the time. You know, it's not about what you say. It's how you say it. So you can give me constructive criticism and I'll be like, oh, yeah, chances are, though, if you've given me constructive criticism over the last six months, I have probably already had been planning a process to execute whatever problem that people think is going on, whether that be sound, whether that be quality, whether that be setup, everything is changing. So the thing that I think I'm most excited for is the editor, because I don't like editing. This is clear as day. I don't like editing. I don't want to do it. And I'm not going to act like I want to do it just because I have a YouTube channel that I love recording videos for. I don't. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take that out of the equation for myself. So that way it'll help enhance, a little enhance, go be serious, enhance the quality of my videos. I have to do that because I think that the editing ultimately is kind of lowering the quality of my videos i think it genuinely is because i have some really good videos but people again also have to consider the fact that okay so a youtube channel now has monetization and monetization again a channel could have 50,000 subscribers and another one could have 2,000 subscribers. The 50,000 could have no monetization because they don't have the watch hours. The 2K could have the watch hours. So they're monetizing. So monetization, copyright, all of this stuff, once you hit a monetization status, it now puts you into a point to where you really have to be careful with what you're doing. So editing a lot of the stuff that... It, it, yeah, I'm going to have to edit a lot of stuff out. That's very unfortunate because here's what people don't think about. Yes, this is a cover. It's not the song audio directly from the artist, right? Someone else is singing this song, but you have to remember somebody else owns that song at the end of the day. And that is still words and sounds that are owned by somebody. So somebody is going to claim all of that it doesn't matter so let's say i covered a katrina you know a, a katrina cover right she's singing let's for example saving all my love that video isn't monetized and okay let's say this is katrina's video right so she's now given access for creators to monetize off of the videos that are reacting to her covers right it's not her song, but the people who own that song, right? They're like, no, 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 nope. So at the end of the day, YouTube is going to stop you from monetization because at that point, even if you do monetize, 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 even if you do monetize that song, it doesn't matter if Christina gave me the freedom to monetize it. It's not her song, but it is her cover in her video. So there are a lot of things that you have to take into account. And I'm doing a lot more things like TV and movies and all of that stuff. And if I want to be able to monetize any of those, I'm going to have to make sure that my video viewage is under a certain amount of time that ultimately goes with the copyright instructions that I have. I have no choice but to do that because the monetization also elevates my channel. My channel now has multiple people behind the scenes that are essentially doing work. I have an editor and many other people who are working on this channel now. So there are people who are getting paid beyond just myself, right? 
So, again, you know, I know a couple of you guys who have utilized um, the reaction booster. If you want to see your reaction come the following weekend, what you can do is under each video under thanks, you can leave yourself a little note there and send it over to me and I will see that. That helps support the channel in enhancing quality of videos, equipment, paying editors, a lot of stuff is going on. So the main reason for this podcast is to discuss, you know, where the channel is going, how reactions are going to get better, because I feel like, again, you guys have gotten some good videos. I've watched them. I think that they're good videos. They're not the best videos, you know? So like, if I really want to see a reaction and this is my favorite video right here i would want probably the best reaction to that video and if i don't get that i may feel underwhelmed right and i don't want people to feel like that and some people will and that is okay right that is okay for people to feel i would like people to be honest about my videos in a respectful manner of course we're all here to help each other out We all here to express some love, okay? Now, I think that um, I I have three Katrina reactions out, obviously. I think that my Whitney Houston one is the best video. Actually, I have four Katrina reactions. I have a Christmas one, Whitney, Beyonce, and um, Saving All My Love, which is also Whitney. Um, So I genuinely think that Whitney Medley is the best one. I feel like the first one is underwhelming. I feel like Saving All My Love is underwhelming. And I also feel like um, the Beyonce one is kind of sort of underwhelming, but not really. Um, so there's a lot of things that I want to focus on and, you know, you got to give me the space to see these reactions and to do better because I'm studying myself. Essentially, I've literally been studying reactions for years at this point. So it's like each time that I do a video, I figure it out. I take notes i also again take the notes of people who have feedback in the comments which is great i gotta um i think the saving all my love uh reaction somebody said something about the video sound which i already knew i obviously already knew that there was going to be issues with the sound because i'm working in a new mic and despite our tests the mics still sometimes do whatever the hell that they want to so we're trying to figure out how to make it consistent how to make the mic volume balanced with the video volume you should be able to hear the video clearly and then still hear me without hearing me over the video so we're looking for a nice balance with that as well we're looking for a good HD resolution for the videos, you know, working on the camera quality, like just the different things that we've been focusing on. And literally, I mean, eight months, y'all, eight months on because we took a couple months prior to plan what we really wanted to start with. And then after we figured out where we want to start, we started over the last eight months to really get a plan going. And once kind of 2024 came in, that's when the plans were like, okay, now we're really rolling out the effect. So now the plans that we kind of have, again, around May, summertime, blah, 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 this is going to be what we're rolling out. And I'm actually really, really excited about it, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think that you guys are going to genuinely love it. I think that I have a lot of plans for this channel and Christina is going no with Christina. Who is Christina? Be serious, girl. This is not Christina Aguilera, Katrina. Anyway, I have a lot of plans for Katrina and I mean a lot, y'all. So I'm going to be doing video podcasts. I would like to discuss the reactions that I do after I react to them. I would like to have moments like these where we come back here and we have a discussion. 
you know, because in a video, we may not be able to cover everything that we would like to cover. But here, what we can do is we can actually discuss all the different parts in detail about the video. Because sometimes, again, when you're doing a reaction, everything that you're going to process about that video isn't going to happen on that camera, right? So it's kind of like having a reaction and then having a review type discussion thing. And I'm going to be doing, yes, audio podcasts, but also video podcasts, which is going to be part of the membership and Patreon. Um, So excited about that. So I'm very appreciative of the support because we have a lot of things that are currently going on. I obviously, I am sick as a dog and I am sick as a dog. This is the second time that I have been sick in two weeks. I literally, last week, I got sick. I was at work. I was working this huge event. It was just kind of like, well, duh. Like, it makes sense why you would have gotten sick around all of those people. I had no choice, right? So that, I beat the odds, right? In about three days, too. I was like, ah, I'm feeling good. Then, you know, I had to go to LA for Oscars weekend and whatnot. And then it was like, oh, shit. Here I am sick again right after LA. And again, all of those people. It just makes sense. So I'm definitely putting my health first right now. I'm resting. I'm recovering. But I want to make sure I also have some content with you guys and also have some discussions because never fear. Katrina isn't going anyway, dear. So, you know, I think that a lot of this has been on my mind and I like to share these things with you guys, with the community and with fandoms individually and specifically so that's kind of my intent with this because I don't want to just make a random post you know what I mean like I I don't want to I can obviously post on the community section but I'm not going to be able to be as detailed as a podcast for those who would like to sit and have a discussion with me. So this is my way of us sitting down, grabbing a cup of tea and just discussing things going on within the channel, within this community of Katrina reactions. Like, I genuinely just think that that's something that, you know, honestly, I think is worth my time. I enjoy it. You guys give me so much support, like all the time that the least that I can do is try to give back in any way that I possibly can. And I understand that I do that by also continuously giving reactions, but also at the same time, I understand that that also is enough. You know what I mean? It is, but I'm also the kind of person that does like to go out of my way for people who do support me and have genuine love. And that is what I am doing for the people who are on my channel. So I appreciate you. I'm sending you love. What really started this again was really the saving my love for you reaction. You know, again, I thought it was kind of mediocre for myself. I was like, bitch, you need to give them a little something better than that because that's not hitting. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> The video's over maybe the last two weeks. I've probably filmed while not feeling well. So that, you know what I mean? I'm not feeling well in the midst of working overtime, in the midst of um, going to all of these events and going state to state for, um, you know, industry stuff. So I am busy out the ass. I don't know how I have time to keep up with this YouTube channel or this podcast, but I do. And you guys, your love and your support definitely it keeps it going, bitch, because I don't know where the fuck, you know, this energy would be without y'all. I need us to be serious. So, you know, there's a lot of you guys that I've become familiar with in the comments. Keep commenting. Keep liking. I see those comments. I'm going to reply. Even if I don't reply immediately, I'm still going to reply, whether it's days or a week or two or three or four or a month or two I literally always reply and I mean always and the reason why it sometimes takes me a lot to you know get back to somebody is because the massive amount of comments that I get is insane I mean I get almost 
let's say per two videos, I probably have almost 100 to 200 comments. So, and that's not including my shorts or anything like that. So I don't like to just give back. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. You know what I mean? I like to give you a personal response from me. I like to take the time to really give you some of my time. You know what I mean? But I also have a social battery. I have a limit to what I can expense with my energy, socially, emotionally, whatever. I have hella social anxiety. Girl, It the shit is crazy. But, you know, I manage. I definitely do the best I can. I have a therapist. I have a psychiatrist. You know what I mean? We fighting back because this bitch is definitely trying to take a bitch out. But it is what it is, right? We deal with the cards that we are dealt and we do the best that we can. So that is a big reason why, you know, I have to go back and respond to my comments in spurts. Sometimes I can go back to back on a day. Sometimes I can go the whole day. Sometimes I may need a week off. Sometimes I may need more than a week off to come back and respond. But when I respond to you, you're going to feel like the response that I gave you was directly to you. And I took the time to curate that comment based on what you said, because I read and I comprehended everything that you said to me. Right? Literally, that's how you're going to feel because that is what happened. (laughs) It's not a perception. That's literally it. You know, I devote time to my subscribers. I really do. So I'm really appreciative of you guys. I don't have too much to talk about right now. You know, I'm going to have another Katrina reaction coming out next weekend. I will not be this weekend. Last weekend was one video and this weekend is going to be one video as well. So that is the idea. Um, I probably will get back into full videos probably in about two weeks. I will need about two weeks to fully recover. Um... Honestly, y'all, I'm suffering. Okay, I'm doing the best I can. My throat is killing me. I cannot breathe out my nose. But I had to give you guys some content this weekend. I miss you guys. Like, I wish I could put out a Katrina reaction every single week. I wish I could because the energy of watching videos, like when you guys watch the videos and then you comment, we literally just watch the video together. Like, that's not a joke. When you just watch the video, I just watch the video with you. Like, it's just like such a genuine moment to me. Because I remember those moments, again, watching reaction videos that brought me joy, commenting and, you know, speaking with my favorite reactor. And, you know, I love that. So I definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'm going to wrap this up and I'm actually going to go ahead and rest and, you know, do what I need to to take care of myself and my health. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, please. We are trying to beat the algorithm always like videos and always comment even if it's a heart because what that does is it boosts my video and the algorithm i need to beat this algorithm girl it's beating my ass okay i appreciate you i'm hopping off here take care of yourselves and i will see you guys on the next reaction video in the next discussion all right y'all peace